These are some of the biggest rapids in the world. And today on At Your Leisure, we are going up them. That's right, it's an historic trip that could open the door for tours in this extremely famous and daunting area. We'll show you where it is. Then join me, Stephen Human, and Rhea Booth as we slick rock ride an area every bit as intense as the most famous mountain biking destinations in the West. But it's a brand new location that no one knows about yet. Well, I bet it's a red rock land you've never visited. At Your Leisure is next. But guess what? We're not in Moab. We're in Emory County. And we are in the Lower San Rafael Swell Road. That's right, we are in Saucer Basin. Welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. Rhea and I have found this amazing spot where you can come out here in Slick Rock. And it's very much like the very popular areas of Moab, but there's nobody here. And I'm taking a break. You're taking a break. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, right. this is awesome. This is truly, this is like Slick Rock that y'all know it, but it goes on for miles and there's absolutely no one out here except us. And it's very easy to get to, isn't it? It really is, because we're just off of uh, the North San Rafael Road, which leads right out of Green River, literally. Yeah. Right there, if you know where Ray's Tavern is downtown. That's the road that we're on, boom, you just head south. Takes about 25, 30 minutes to get out here and you are in paradise. Yeah, and the thing that, I mean, I've been out slick rocking in Moab before and obviously it's gorgeous, it's much like this. Beautiful. But there are people everywhere. Yeah. And there's no, I mean, this, this entire group is with us. We didn't seem to be driving out here today. Matter of fact, they said, Rhea, don't tell anybody about this because this is like our little gym. I'm like, not for long. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna show you all of that today, how you can get out here, some of the sites you're gonna see. And they actually have more plans on how to develop this area specifically for mountain bikers. So we're gonna talk about those too. So if you come out here in the near future, there's gonna be some awesome things to experience out here. We're gonna show it all to you. But right now, we have to go off to a travel adventure. It's somewhere completely different, but you're gonna have a lot of fun. That's right, guys, I'm Corey Toon. And we're on the Niagara River, and today we're with Niagara Jet Adventures, and there are less than a dozen people in the history of the world that have ever been all the way up to the falls, up the rapids. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So here we go, you ready guys? Our day began at Youngstown Marina, which is base camp for Niagara Jet Adventures, and I had absolutely no idea what the next 12 miles of river would bring. Historically, boats have had to stop at Whirlpool Rapids, but today we went all the way to the base of the horseshoe, all the way to the Niagara Falls Rapids. This is only the third expedition in the history of the world to go all the way to the falls. Basically what we're looking at here is this is the class six version of the Niagara Gorge. Um, what we're going to be running up through here today, guys, is we're going to be running a rapid known as Helter Skelter, um, Pipeline, the Himalayas. This is a world-renowned river. This is uh, this is as big as it gets, and what's unique about what you guys are going to get to do today is you're the first ones in history that uh, are ever going to get to experience this firsthand other than us. Um, you know, this is, we're going to offer up the most amazing, safest whitewater excursion in the history of mankind. The boats that we're on today are specialty boats made specifically for this purpose. They only draft six to eight inches of water, and some of the rocks that we're going over in the big rapids only have 18 inches of water covering them, and that's why so many people have to stop earlier and can't come where we're coming today. This is a training drill for us. This is, uh, you know, you guys were brought on board to do some filming and basically show people the experience, but our biggest focus here today is to show you how safe this is, what you're gonna to get to be able to see, but to navigate this river, you have to be very humble, very confident, and you need to know what you're doing, and you need to have the right equipment. That's gonna be your biggest thing. These boats were manufactured by my company back in Boise, Idaho, BWC Boats. We built these boats to take on the forces of the Niagara Gorge. You know, we're running right now three Cadillac CTSV supercharged 6.2 liter engines, 550 horsepower each with a total combined horsepower of 1,650 horse.
Okay, Chris, not everyone wakes up and says, look, I'm gonna take a riverboat to the base of the Niagara Falls. Tell me what made you decide to do this? Honestly, you know, we, we build world-class whitewater jet boats and, uh, you know, it was, uh, I got a phone call from a gentleman one day. He'd asked me, he said, have you ever looked at the Niagara Gorge before? And I said, you know, I haven't. Once we got our heads together, uh, you know, it, it all basically came down to, gosh, there's, there's a venue here. There's basically, there's an opportunity to bring people through there and let the world experience what we experienced back in April of last year, you know. You've got so many people telling you that you can't do it and that everybody that's ever tried it has not been successful. And, and honestly, after we did it, we realized that there's an opportunity to create a very safe, fun, informational, and exhilarating are, experience like for America to come out and see. So uh, These are definitely a lot different than I've ever done before. Uh, mainly very uh, sure magnitude of the water coming down. That's a uh, variation of 100,000 feet per second. Well, we made it all the way to the falls. That was so intense. Look at the falls. These are immensely powerful and immensely amazing. Look how beautiful. Today was different. Today was special. This was literally once in a lifetime experience. How many times do you get to go up Class 6 Rapids to the base of the Niagara Falls River? And when you get there, there is such an overwhelming sense of magnificence. This entire experience has made me feel like I have conquered the unconquerable. Well, any day on the water is a great day, but it's a one in a million day when you spend the day with Niagara Jet Adventures and BWC boats. We were the fourth boat in the history of the world to go all the way up to the falls. I'm Corey Toon with At Your Leisure, now back to the crew. Thanks so much for that great story. If you want to find out more, just go to our website at AYLTV.com. All right, well, Lamar Guyman and I are standing here on the San Rafael Swell. And Lamar is a guide at the San Rafael Country Adventures. And this place, they rent mountain bikes and Jeeps, and you take them out everywhere, don't you, Lamar? I do. Now, how did you get into this business? Well, I worked for the sheriff's office for 40 years, so I got to spend a lot of time out in this country doing rescue operations and patrol and those kind of things and it's always intrigued me so when I got fired at the sheriff's office I it was a blessing here. it was and uh, I came out here on the swell which covers 5,000 square miles if you look at it that way wow and uh, started a guide service so Lamar how did you find this magnificent trail we were here this year at June's bottom during our mountain bike festival that we have in May and after everybody had started riding and I was going back to check on some other riders, I had passed this place for years and wondered what was on top of here. So I had a few minutes, so I stopped and loaded my bike and rode up over the top here. And this is what I found. And it's, to me, breathtaking. Uh, I'm sure other people have been here, but to me, it's brand new. To me, it was like when uh, Noah first got off the ark yeah. and discovered land again. And it is just magnificent. So it's the projected date to finish this trail would be like what, the end of next year or like spring of next year? We hope with the BLM's cooperation uh, that we're able to have it ready by the festival next year to use. Nice. Uh, we're also looking at, a, with the state parks, a trail out around Goblin Valley. Uh -huh. A single track. So Lamar, besides mountain biking and hiking obviously, can you do any other motorized fun out here? You can bring your OHB. There's miles and miles of sand. Just be cautious of where you can ride and where you can't. But on dirt bikes? Here, oh yeah. Yeah, there's there is a lot of dirt bike use out here. Thanks so much Lamar for coming out with us today. I mean really I'm feeling really privileged that this is just discovered and we're taking we're you know you're taking us out here. This doesn't happen very often. Well we got more slick rock to ride, but don't go away because we'll be right back. I grew up in the Una Basin and I think that it's a good place to raise a family. My wife and I moved away for a short time and we ended up moving back to Vernal and, and we've been very happy. Our kids have done well here. Uh, it's a small enough community that you get to know a lot of people, but yet it's big enough that you can kind of get lost if you want to. So why don't you come out and just give Vernal a try? It's a great place to live. 
Morris is making room for 2015s with huge deals on every 2014. Every Razor, every Ranger, every Sportsman. Every Polaris is priced to move during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Hardworking Rangers have rebates up to $1,000. Legendary Sportsmen start under $100 a month. Award winning Razors are up to $1,000 off. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. Color. It's something that can be seen. But have you ever wanted to reach out and touch it? Experience it. In San Juan County, Utah color comes to life like nowhere else on earth. Color can be more than an abstract. Color can be your gateway to a new world. Visit San Juan County and explore the past, present, and future in a way that you've only dreamed of. San Juan County. Color. Your experience. Welcome back to Actual Leisure, everybody. We are out here in Saucer Basin, just south of Green River in Emory County, Utah, and we are having just a blast out here. Riding. But Lamar isn't. Yeah, th yeah. <laughs> this is. We, and I've got three experienced bike mechanics standing around here, watching. And you're doing it yourself, yeah. You're fast, Lamar. Well, this is a part of mountain biking. Sometimes you're going to get a flat tire. So you need to come prepared. You need to bring your tools necessary to get your tire off. You need to bring extra tubes. And you also want to bring some water, right? Tons right? and tons of water. Lots of water. Yes. You came prepared. I, I am generally Fuzzy came prepared today. Excellent. But uh, yeah, it's important to know what your bike has. You don't want to be carrying a Schrader valve and then need a Presta because they don't work together. Right? Oh, OK. Good. Especially in the one direction. Excellent. Yeah. So we got the gear here. here you are out here. And if you need some tips, you can talk to the guys at Bicycle Works and Price, or you can talk to the guys at SBR in Orem, and they will hook you up. These guys know what they're talking about. All right, well, I think we should probably help Lamar at this point get the, the tire fixed. Yes, because he needs lots of help. He needs help. lots of help. All right, we got to go off to our product review. Last time we were together on a product review, we talked about introductory camping for a family of four. Today, we're going to look at a family of six. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. Welcome to our product review for Ray City RV. We are looking today at the T195BH. T stands for tongue pull, which means you use a regular hitch behind your car to pull it. And the BH stands for bunkhouse. That's why this one, with a little extra space, also adds a lot more sleeping capacity. We'll get to that in a minute. Well, if you saw our last review, when we looked at the 185BR, it had the basic accommodations for a family of four. Basically speaking, it had a full queen-size bed for mom and dad here in the front. They kept the cabin open to get that feeling of space inside. And they had a dinette for the kids, which was a fold-down dinette where the table comes down, cushions slide in like this, and you have sleeping for two of the kids. Here is where the bunkhouse model changes from the BR. It's right back here. In the back of the 195, there is the bunkhouse. A top bunk for one of your kids, bottom bunk for the other. Bathroom, like the BR, is in the back. It has an RV head and a nice big tub so the little kids can get themselves clean. Now let's take a look at the galley. Pretty much the same configuration as the 180. You've got a little extra counter space on this model right here for you doing your food prep. So mom's gonna have a little more space to play with. You have a two burner propane stove, and all of these models also come with a furnace so that if you're in cool weather, you can keep the cabin nice and warm. We still are continuing with the gas electric refrigerator, which is a really important feature because if you're in the back country, you don't have electricity to work with. Also has an air conditioning unit overhead. When you get in those hot summers, you pull into the campground, you can keep it cool, or you can buy a generator, a little portable, and just stick it outside and run the AC and a microwave. So you've got all the basics of home right here and you're ready to make your adventure out into the great outdoors. Now, how about cost? This unit is still available for under $15,000, so for about $140 a month, you can take your family of six, get outside and get started in camping. Make those memories that your kids will remember forever. You can check this unit out at raycity.com or you can stop by their showroom in Roy, Utah. Okay, we got one more in this series, so I'll look for you in the next group. Summer is the time for construction in Utah, but this year you can use it to your advantage at Ray City RV as we introduce our construction price reduction sale. Get the best deals of the year on your new tent trailer for your family. Come into Ray City off Riverdale Road in Roy. 
You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? August 4th, you can do just that in Cedar City as the Tour of Utah opens with a brand new 113-mile course that starts and ends right in downtown. Follow the action through the Parowan Gap, up to Bryanhead, and through Cedar Breaks National Monument. The Tour of Utah in Cedar City, August 4th. Visit cedarcityayl.com for more information about all the adventure you can experience in scenic southern Utah. Polaris is making room for 2015s with huge deals on every 2014 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Hard-working Rangers have rebates up to $1,000. Legendary sportsmen start under $100 a month. Award-winning Razors are up to $1,000 off. Get huge rebates and low financing right now during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Don't let the construction slow you down. Come into Ray City RV and Roy for our construction price reduction sale. Our 2014 clearance units are at the lowest prices of the year. And you can drive away with the RV of your dreams right now. Ray City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy. You're doing pretty good for a girl. Oh, thanks, Rhea. I think you need to have a basket right here. <laughs> one of those bars that come back here, you know, get you on a Schwinn, bring you out here on the slick rod. I can still kick your budinski. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are out here in Saucer Basin, just south of Green River in Utah, and we're having a great time on the Slick Rock. How about we hit some more and find out what everybody else thinks? Oh my gosh, let's go. Mm. All right. Yeah. Oh, you gotta drop mm. in, you gotta do this. Let me think about it. You gotta loop around. Have some fun with it. I live here for decades and find something new just about every weekend you go out. On Slick Rock out here, we get to come out and just flow. You know, you can find all kinds of awesome lines. You, you felt it, y'all felt it. So what's it like being out here with your dad? Well, it's amazing, you know, it's free, free and it's great. Bonding experience, having a great time riding, that's why. I'm telling you, the only thing this place is missing is those little white lines that make the trail so you know where to go, but they're gonna get it. And so you have a rental business, right? Um, well, I have a general bike shop, yeah, Bicycle Works in Price. Okay, yeah. so you can buy and rent or? Buy and rent and demo. Fast, fast. Well, don't go away everybody, we're going to our trailhead adventure. And then we're heading to another part of Emory County that maybe you haven't seen that's going to be just as much fun when we come back. If you can find an open spot among the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder anglers, it's a great time to teach a newcomer the nuances of fly fishing. Mark Forsland, owner of Four Seasons Fly Shop in Heber, is the teacher. The quick-learning pupil is Sunshine, a.k.a. Deborah Lynn. Green drakes, a large mayfly, hatch along the Provo every July, and the brown trout feast on the nymphs on the bottom and the emerging adults floating on the surface. In the late morning, Sunshine hooks several fish by bouncing a drake nymph on the edge of the fast water on one of the middle Provo's many perfect runs. Geez, I'll tell you what, this fish is, he's angry. He won't stop. I just want to put you on film so everybody can see at home. Nice brownie. Awesome. Because this fish is less than 15 inches long, she could keep it and one other, but most fly fishermen release everything. I don't know if it's the fly, or Sunshine's pink breast cancer awareness rod, or Mark's cheerleading, uh, that is expert coaching, but Sunshine is into the brownies big time. Oh. Oh yeah. Awesome. What do you think of that? Thank you for teaching me how to do this. It's great. Beautiful it is. Pretty fish, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Middle Provo is restricted to flies and lures only from Jordan L. Dam to the Legacy Bridge near Midway. Downstream to Deer Creek Reservoir, bait may be used. Beginning in 1999, crews rerouted the Middle Provo into its historic channel, mimicking the natural conditions with ripples, runs, pools, and side channels. Then volunteers rounded up the trout left high and dry when the old channel was blocked and release them into the new river, creating one of Utah's most productive trout streams. 
Then shortly before noon, right on schedule, the green drakes hatch, float to the surface, and before they can stretch their wings, the fish attack. Sunshine switches to a dry fly. To accommodate the growing number of anglers on the Middle Provo, Mark has opened a new Four Seasons fly shop just below Jordan L. Dam at the River's Edge Resort. Want to learn more about the Middle Provo? Four Seasons and the River's Edge Resort will host the 5th Annual Provo River Fly Fishing Festival. This year it's a two-day event, August 22nd and 23rd, and will feature clinics, demonstrations, vendor and nonprofit booths, as well as live music both nights. It's at River's Edge, right below the Jordan L. Dam. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure on the Middle Provo. I'd like to thank Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com for sponsoring that trailhead adventure. They are that great place where you can get all your ATV parts, motorcycle parts, dirt bike parts, everything. Check them out, Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Well, from the Slick Rock Trails over in Saucer Basin, all the way to the other side of the county, we've taken a little bit of a jump. We are now here at Mill Site Reservoir. Tina, you got the you got the canoe taken care of? Yes, I do. All right, the wind's picked away. up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tina from Emory County Tourism. Now, obviously, we've been mountain biking the Slick Rock for most of the day, but now we're at Mill Site Reservoir, and this is a place that most people don't even know it exists. Yeah. What can people do here? Well, we can. We have paddle boarding. We have canoeing. Just outside the park, we have OHV, so plenty of trails. We're 30 minutes from the mountains, which is uh, elevation of 10,000 feet. So um, basically, I, last week I brought my girls here. We had a picnic. We paddle boarded all day. It was amazing. We have plenty of people that are willing to share. <laughs> okay, so somebody wants to come down. Jonathan, you okay? You're gonna get knocked over by the wind? <laughs> all right, well, so, so if somebody wants to come here and try all of this stuff and, and hopefully not fall in the water like Jonathan, uh, where are they gonna be able to stay? Um, they're gonna be able to stay downtown at Gillies Inn, or you can go further south and you'll hit the Castle Valley Outdoors. If you go to Castle Dell, you can stay at the San Rafael Bed and Breakfast and we have two village inns, one in Huntington and one in Castle Dell. So plenty of places to stay. If you want to bring your RV, plenty of places to stay. Like here at Mill Site, we have Huntington State Park, Goblin Valley, and we also have Green River. So we'd love to have you come visit. If you'd like more information, visit our website, sanrafaelcountry.com. We also have a mobile app, so you can just bring it with you. Wherever you want to stay, the adventure is here in Emory County. We're going to show you more of it here in just a minute, but first we got to go to a commercial break. Keep it here on At Your Leisure. It's a perfect time to buy a boat, whether it be a boat, yacht, houseboat, pontoon, ski boat, we have them all, executive boat and yacht, and we're a one-stop boat shop. We do mechanics, fiberglass upholstery, canvas, you bring it to one place, we take care of you, executiveyacht.com. There aren't a lot of places in this world where you can feel truly free and wild, where the horizon invites you to set off on adventure. In Tooele County, you'll find just that. Explore the Benson Grist Mill and step back in time. Find yourself on a trek through our canyons. <laughs> Tooele County. Experience endless horizons. Don't imagine a Caribbean vacation. Win one right now through At Your Leisure, MSC Cruise Lines, and Columbus Travel as we give away a seven-day Caribbean cruise for two. Sign up on Facebook at AYL TV or text keyword AYL to 58885 and watch At Your Leisure on ABC4 Utah. The Polaris factory authorized clearance is going on now at Triple S Polaris. Get the best deals of the year on 2014 Polaris ATVs as we make room for the new 2015 models. Get rebates up to $1,000 on Rangers and Razors with special monthly pricing of only $100 a month on Sportsman. Couple all that with the lowest financing of the year and the best service in the industry. And you have a whole new reason to come into Triple S Polaris for the factory authorized clearance. Tri -tri Triple S Polaris service to the power of three. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Stephen and I are here at Millside State Park here in Emory County. 
And if you haven't been here, you need to show up. It is lovely. It really is. I mean, you got the green trees, you've got the bluffs in the distance, the blue water. This is a great destination. It's actually two and a half miles long. So there's plenty of space for you yeah. to come out here and play, to bring your skiers, whatever you want to do. Well, it's got a great campground. They got like, what, 20 hookups yeah. for a camp? Yeah. And you know what's cool? When you come out here, there's so many kids because they have a really nice beach. So your kids are safe. You know, the water's nice and shallow. They can come in there and play. Of course, they got life preservers on. Yeah. But it's really neat. You just sit there and watch your kids play, and there you are in your camper. It's awesome. And you can golf, too. You can. They actually do have a golf course. Their golf course is awesome. Nine holes, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a good-looking golf course. All right, so come out here for your next adventure. And right now, we got to talk about our calendar of events. We want to remind you about the cruise. We've only got a couple weeks left for you to sign up. We're going to be announcing it in August. So sign up right now on Facebook. Are they going to love this cruise or what? You're going to love it. And the more times you enter and share, the bigger your odds are going to be to win. Now we have a couple other events to talk about. First off, you have the Emory County Fair July 30th through August 2nd right here in Castledale just up the road. They're going to have live music, all kinds of cool activities. You can find out more at emorycounty.com fair. We also have here at Millsite August 1st, the RV and night golf event. Golfing in the dark, it's going to be absolutely awesome. You can contact the state parks for more details. And August 13th through the 16th, we have the Paiute Trail UTV Jamboree in Marysville. If you have a UTV, you want to go out and check that out, utvjam.com. So if you want to find out more about our calendar of events, just go to our website, AYLTV.com, and you can check it out there. And actually, you can sign up for our newsletter. We send out a weekly newsletter that has events for the weekend, lots of fun things for you and your family. It's a great thing to do. You can go and sign up for it. It'll get emailed to you every week, and it's a great way to plan your upcoming trips. And it's a nice little letter from Chad. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> All right, right now we're going to take a look at our sticker winner. That's right, Rian. Just this last week, we caught this one in the Murray Parade. You can check that out. Camp Bow Wow. License plate number is 610WBE. Check out that AYL sticker for everyone to see in the parade. You are the winner of some family passes to Fast Carts. This is a great place to go and take your family, have some fun, feel some speed. Remember, everybody, get those stickers so that you can win. Congratulations to our sticker winner. Now, all you have to do is call us at this number, 801 947-8888 and collect your prize. And now let's take a look at next week's show. Hey guys, Darren Kinder here. Next week, AYL is climbing, swimming, and riding into the West. First off, join Chad and Rhea as they test their mettle in some of the most extreme slot canyons in the West. Then we'll follow the Bureau of Land Management as they implement plans to help the next generation enjoy the trails of the West. Finally, what's the newest thing from Polaris? I'll have it for you and take it for a test drive. See you here next week. Well, as always, next week's At Your Leisure looks like it's going to be a great adventure, and we're about to hit the water on our paddle boards. These brand new paddle boards yeah, they awesome. got out here. But first, we'd like to thank a couple of the people who took us out on our adventures today. We'd like to thank Lamar Guyman, who took us out to Saucer Basin. That was an amazing area to go out mountain biking. I, I can't wait to go out there again. Yeah, I know. It was so much fun. And Tina Carter, who's the tourism director here over in Emory County. She's awesome, and she knows everything about this county. Yep, and Jonathan, of course, from State Parks, who you saw crash in <laughs> earlier in the show. He's always a big help out here in all of the lakes. He's, He's so great, too. The people out here are wonderful. They are. Well, between now and the next time we all get together, make sure that you get out with your family and friends and enjoy the great outdoors at, at your, your leisure. leisure. All right, let's hit this Let's one. hit it. And obviously we've been, we've been, uh, motorcycle. <laughs> we've been motorcycling most of the day. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com. And from there, you can find out which television stations we broadcast on. So you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.